Okay, we have a couple things open here. Here's the LPL textbook over here, the PDF, and I got Fitch opened up over here. And I'm on page 58, if you want to follow along, so I'm going to go 58 to 59. This is the You Try It uh, problem in section 2.4. So I'm just going to follow along here. What we're going to do is we're going to use Fitch, this program, to construct a formal proof. This is what it is right here. So first thing it wants us to do is launch Fitch. You're going to do that uh, from a PC in a little different way than I am. I talked about this in class a little bit. So hopefully you know how to do that, finding Fitch. Um, if not, just email me. But I've got Fitch open right here. So I'm using a Mac. Obviously, it's going to be a little different. What I want to do is open the file identity one. So I'm actually going to close out this blank template here. I'm going to go file and open. And it's going to go to this Fitch exercise files folder. And I'm going to scroll down. Uh, I don't know why it wants to access my photos, but I don't want it to do that. So here, we're going to go down to identity one. All right, let's see. So identity one, there it is. Now this opens up the proof for you. The premises are here and the conclusion is here or the goal. So this is the goal box down here. Premises, like I said, so it, it's saying you can do show step numbers. We're not going to do that right now, but if you want to do it, it's proof and then show step numbers. That'll come up later. All right. So it says before we start to construct the proof, notice at the bottom, there is something called the goal strip. That's right here. And here's our goal. We want to prove that B is in the same row as A using this, these premises. So let's think about the idea first. All right. So A is in the same row as A. Okay. That should be kind of obvious on the face of it conceptually. And then the second premise right here is that B is A. So B and A are the same things, and A is in the same row as A. So you would think it's valid, the conclusion, B is in the same row as A. So that's what we're doing. Let's get the idea first. Now, step three, let's construct the proof. What we need to do is fill in the steps needed to complete the proof, just like the last section that we went over. So what we want to do is add a new step. All right, right now I'm over in Fitch and this red arrow is at the first premise. I want to get it down to the second premise. I can either click on that like that or I can move it up and down using my keyboard arrows. All right, so here it is, the second premise. And I want to go proof and then add step after. All right, so you can see there's a blank step right there. We need some content over here and we need a rule justifying why we put the content there. So it says add step after we did that in the new step, enter the sentence A equals B. So I can either do that on my keyboard, A, e, oh, A equals B, there it is. Or let me get rid of that. I can do it this way. A over here equals B. A is the same thing as B, okay. So, right, either by typing it or using the toolbar. So once we've done that, add another step below this and enter the goal sentence or the conclusion, B is in the same row as A. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go proof, add step after. I'm gonna go over here to the same row, and enter B and A. So the, you'll see that's the same sentence as our, con our conclusion. Okay. And then it says, use the mouse to click on the word rule that appears to the right of what we just entered. All right, so let's see. In the menu that pops up, go to the elimination rules and select identity. So there's intro rules, there's elimination rules, there's reiteration. Here are the elimination rules. Elimination, and we go down to identity right here. That's the equal sign. And this gives you the pattern, all right? If you hover over the symbol, then it gives you the pattern for identity elimination. And we're saying that is how we justify this right here, this identity elimination. Now remember, we're just trying to figure out how to learn Fitch. Um, so we're just gonna go through the procedure at this point. Later, we'll talk more about certain rules and how they're justified and those kinds of things. Okay, so it says equals elimination. That's what we have right here, so we're good to go. Next, we want to cite the first premise, and citing it just means clicking on that. So there's the first premise, and the intermediate sentence you first entered. Here is the intermediate sentence right there. Those two things. 
So the reason we do that is because each statement needs to be justified if you entered it, except for subproofs, and we'll get into that. But each statement needs to be justified, and we are saying we're authorized or justified to use this by this rule from these two premises above, or these two sentences above, I should say, one of which is a premise. Now, this says, we do this in Fitch by clicking on two sentences, that's what we've done. Click on the wrong one, we didn't do that. Once you have the right sentence, sentences cited, choose verify proof from the proof menu. The last step should now check out because it is about, so this says, right, verify proof. So let's click that. Okay, so this is saying this one checks out and as we would expect, this does not. We have not proven it yet because this is missing justification. All right, yeah, so A equals B will not check out. Okay, so step six here, or I shouldn't say step, uh, number six uh, from the you try it. Add a step before the first introduced step, the one containing A equals B, and enter the sentence B equals B. So we need to add a step before the first introduced step. All right, so that means we go back up to this premise. We want it before this one right here. So we go up here and go proof, add step after. You'll know there is an option saying add step before. So we could have done another way. I could have gone to the one below it and done add step before, but I'm just gonna follow their rules. So add step after, and this is saying enter the sentence B equals B. So B equals B. Okay, so now it's telling us into the sense B equals B. Justify it by using the rule identity intro. Okay, so we are now in intro, introduction rules. We go down to identity, and again, that's going to give you the pattern if you hover over it. Identity introduction. There it is. Okay, so there's the rule. Check the step. Let's see. Checking it. This checks step. This checks the whole proof. So let's check this step. Boom. Checks out. All right. Good. So finally, justify the step containing A equals B by using the equal identity el elimination rule. So I need to go down to that and it's saying use the elimination identity rule. I've seen that before. Okay. You will need to move the flip a slider. Yep. Cite the second premise and the sentence B equals B. All right, so here's the second premise right here, citing that, and B equals B. Now, let's see. The whole proof, it says, including the goal, should check out. So I'm going to see if the whole proof checks out by saying verify proof, and it does. You get a green check mark down here, and that's how you know you have successfully proven what you want to prove from the premises to the goal or the conclusion. Now step eight uh, in the you try it says mention we mentioned earlier that Fitch lets you take some shortcuts. Okay, and it's going to give this in a, as an example. We've constructed a proof that falls under the Fitch language, but Fitch actually has symmetry of identity built into this identity elimination rule. So there's another way to do it. We can prove the conclusion directly from the two premises using a single application of the rule identity elimination. All right, so next in section nine, add another step at the very end of your proof. All right, so remember, we gotta go down to the last step here. We're gonna do proof, add step after. What does it want us to do? Here's a trick you'll find handy. Click on the goal sentence at the very bottom of the window. This puts the focus on the goal sentence. All right, so I'm gonna click down here, and then what it wants us to do is just highlight this, and I'm going to copy that. Right, and then I'm gonna go back up to this that I just created, and I'm gonna paste it in there. There it is, so that is the same row as that, obviously, and this is the conclusion. So, that's what we did. So it says, this time, justify the new step using identity elimination. All right, let's try that. So we go down here, we see elimination, we see identity right there, now we clicked it in there, and citing just the two premises. All right, so, this premise, and this premise, and this rule, and let's see if this line checks out. We're just gonna check this step. Looks like it checks out. Now, let's just double check because we don't have a green check down here, 
and it checks out. Excellent. So we've proved this from the premises in a couple different ways. Now, last step, save your proof as proof identity one. So what we want to do is say file, make sure you do save as because you're saving it as a different name. Save as proof identity one and you can save it wherever you save files. All right, so that is how you work Fitch. Those are the basics. And we'll do a little bit more with proofs in a few other sections coming up.